नमस्कार आई एम त्रिशानु बनिक आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग प्रोग्राम ऑफ आई फॉर टुडे दैट इज फॉर ट्वेंटी ऑफ जुलाई As you can see, yesterday extremely heavy rainfall has been realized over the Bijapur district of Chhattisgarh, and it has been represented by the red color. And apart from that, you can see over Uttarakhand, Dehradun district received 20 cm of rainfall. Tamil Nadu, the Nilgiri district received 18 cm of rainfall. West Madhya Pradesh, Raisen district received 17 cm of rainfall. Madhya Maharashtra, Satara district received 17 cm of rainfall. South Interior Karnataka, Shiva Moga district received. 16 cm of rainfall coastal karnataka uttar kannada district received 14 cm of rainfall and in odisha kodapur district received 14 cm of rainfall so if we talk about the monsoon trough you can see here this is the normal position of the monsoon trough but if you look at today the monsoon trough is little shifted southward now passing through the starting from the sri ganganagar then sikhar then it passes through the gwalior it crosses sidhi and up to the center of the low pressure area apart from that there are other synoptic system also exist you can see here the well marked low pressure area over the gangetic west bengal and the north odisha is now lies as a low pressure area over the same area and the associated cyclonic circulation is extend up to the 7.6 km from the mean sea level and it is tilted southward with the height and you can see the shear zone is passes through the 18 degree north and it has extended from 5.8 up to the 7.6 km from the mean sea level which is also tilted southward with the height and the offshore trough starts from the south gujarat coast now runs up to the northern portion of the state karnataka and also there is a cyclonic circulation over the north western part of the uttar pradesh and extending up to the 1.5 km above mean sea level so if we talk about the today's highlight today we are expecting isolated extremely heavy rainfall over the west madhya pradesh and we are also expecting extremely heavy rainfall over the isolated places over the gujarat region for tomorrow and apart from that isolated very heavy rainfall very likely over the ghat areas of the madhya maharashtra konkan goa and coastal and south uh, coastal and southern interior karnataka during the next two days and we are expecting there is a reduction of the rainfall activity gradually in the subsequent days heavy to very heavy rainfall is also likely to continue over the central part of the india during the next two days if we talk about the rainfall distribution for the next 5 days you can see during the next two days that is for today 27th and 28th of july central part of the india has mostly the widespread rainfall distribution and if you see the subsequent days like 29th of july 30 july uh, fairly widespread distribution is there for the central india as well as the gujarat region and the west coast of the peninsular india and if you see the 30 uh, 31st again the rainfall distribution will increase and central part will be covered by the widespread rainfall distribution and if you see further the weather warning for the next 5 days as i already mentioned today west mp we are expecting very heavy rainfall from last two days also uh, we have realized the very heavy rainfall over the west uh, madhya pradesh region so we have today given the red warning for the west madhya pradesh for the very heavy rainfall activity apart from that you can uh, see there are other region like uttarakhand and also east of rajasthan then Uh, Gujarat region, then east of Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, then Vidarbha region, uh, Madhya Maharashtra region, then coastal and coastal Karnataka, and uh, also the region uh, South Interior Karnataka. All these regions we are expecting very uh, heavy rainfall over all these areas. Now, if you see the 28th of July, you can see we have given the extremely heavy rainfall for the. Gujarat region apart from that you can see the east of Rajasthan then Saurashtra Kutch region Madhya Maharashtra western coast of the peninsular india where we are expecting the heavy rainfall activity and if you see the 29 30 and 31st the amount has been reduced very much and if you see the uttarakhand we have given orange alert for the heavy rainfall for the next 3 days like uh, 29 30 and 31st of july and if you see the northeast india like uh, nagaland manipur mizoram and tripura 29th and And 30, we are expecting uh, very heavy rainfall, and for uh, uh, 31st, we are expecting very heavy rainfall for the east of Madhya Pradesh. And if you see the fisherman warning, you can see 
over the uh, uh, Arabian Sea we have given the squally wind speed warning after the range of 45 to 55 kmph gusting to 65 for all next five days and if you see the Arabian Sea we have given uh, the squally wind speed warning 45 55 up to the 65 for the day one and day two that is for today and tomorrow and thereafter we have reduced the warning up to the range of 35 45 and gusting to 55 kmph so that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching us.